what that accomplished, if anything. Time to see Udalric. I never knew a man as brave. Why'd you do it? What is this? Udalric. The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why'd you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. What did the gods want, exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, you vile wretch. You didn't help Aki, and now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. The gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering? Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams, at times I see their form when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Well? Know what it is? It's a Heim. A post-conjunction creature, very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory.
Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you've slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udalric. It won't be an easy fight. What's this other way? They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Udalric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udalric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udalric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udalric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Hmm. And what about the other method? The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's Way. What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. Uh-huh. So to prove you wrong, I gotta do what you say now? As long as my name is not Yennefer, no one will call you henpeck for that. And remember, if we can't think of a good trick, we can still do it your way. Fine. Let's try to trick the Heim. Good decision. Haunted house. The Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. No reason to delay. Siri. No, it's impossible. Damn it. Looking to discourage me? Good. Means you're scared. Somebody could break their leg or their neck. Shattered. Udalric must have been scared of seeing the creature just behind him. Seven years of bad luck for the fool who had a girl. An old cradle. Must have belonged to Udalric or Aki. Geralt, come! Think I've got an idea! Geralt! 
come up with anything? Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply gotta trust me. You're asking me to put my life at risk. Udelric's life at risk. I can't do that. I prefer Witcher's methods, tried and true. I see. If something were to go wrong, it's true. So be it. Let's get Udelric. But you'll have to tell him what this Witcher's method's about. No reason to wait. Young and crit, and there's a gallant fellow. Never his head. Head of a jam. No, 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 no. It'll never end. I know what haunts you, whispers in your ear, commands you to hurt yourself. It's neither the gods nor your brother. But I hear it. Clear as a bell. The voice speaks. The voice is that of a Heim. The creature feeds on the guilt you feel for not helping Aki. Good news is we can defeat it. And the bad? We gotta survive a night in its lair. Your old house. No, no, no. That'll end badly. It can't end well. I can feel it. Get yourself together. If we're to stand a chance, you need to be strong. You need to be a Skelliger. I am a Skelliger. We need to prepare the house first. Light some torches in the main room. Make sure they illuminate every nook and cranny. And then? Then you just need to show up. I'll take care of the rest. Fear not, Jarl. We'll tend to everything. You should rest in the interim. Good idea. Meantime, I'll place the torches. So, ready? A Skelliger's always ready. To defeat his foes, or fall in battle trying. Only one to fall today will be the Heim. Need I prepare? What will happen? Ignorance is bliss. Trust me. Just make sure you stay vigilant. Listen to what I say. Fine. So, what now? Shall we begin? Let's start. Think pleasant thoughts, don't let the Heim drag you into guilt. And pray to your gods I'm not wrong.
get back behind the torches. Time's gone. I can't see it. I saw... saw it sink into the ground. Into the ground? Must have weakened it enough so it hid deep within its lair, in the guts of the house. Listen carefully. I gotta go downstairs, finish off the Heim before it regenerates. Don't move. It's over. Over? I killed the Heim. You're free. Let's get out of here. Well? It worked. What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Geralt, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You're disoriented, but don't worry, it'll pass. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. I'll go with him. He seems confused. Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on speaker, Rog? Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. Thought we already discussed that. We did. Farewell, Witcher. Favorable winds and following seas to you. To you too. So long. Blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, eh? <laughs> After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krach awaits. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. 
Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Step careful there. I've as much right to it as you do. And I'd expect you to support me, not pinch my allies. If an aunt crates to wear the crown, it should be you, because you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Don't your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkarls with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Ah, oh, stop your shite boasting! Ceres! Hey! God damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw her, she's so... so... My stubborn, fierce, mule-headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Cyrus, we're near twins in that regard. Don't see Krak. He talking to the Jarls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell, Witcher, perhaps you'd fancy some fisticuffs with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. Head of a jail. Beautifully wrought. Well, he's gone. Like this. Brown, you hear the black one shit. Sure, but I prefer my trusty axe. Surprise. The rocks never crumble. Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking. This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not going to vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments, they behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Yards will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. Steven, come! I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking? Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is! Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, a hackamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay. <laughs> They're as different as fire and water. But on crate blood flows in both. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you, for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one...
Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Uh, Quick! Da. Uh, da. Take my cloak. <coughs> Hold on, sir. He'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. <coughs> Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugas, and now you threaten my son. Let's step for this. Dad, come here. Come on! I'll put you down like a rabid dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can, we must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait! Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. And suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. Talking won't help anything. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. <laughs> Pull yourself together, Sina. How'd they get in? Patrick. No. Shit. No more than a kid. <laughs> Bodies massacred. Hard to tell who it is. Stingrim, maybe? Fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. Saw a bear standing by the bench. Does the gods do it? Young Lugos. Bears took him by surprise. Didn't have a chance to defend himself. All right. What do we have here? Bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. Mouth smells of honey liqueur. Mead. And something else. Something earthy. Bears like honey. Before it's fermented. Strange. Something under the fur. A tattoo? Shape of a bear paw. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. Bowl 
at each table. Mead in this one. And only mead. Dragadar. Skald's played his last. All the horns are empty. And? So many wounds. No wonder Hjalborn pled to descend from the bear's maw. Something towards mushrooms? Bowls empty. But the scent's in the air. Coming from... Somewhere else in this room. Here. Mead spiked with some kind of mushroom. And... Human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were- Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Sure, it might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. A disgrace. The cat we've not seen since the red funeral. May the sea swallow the traitors. Freer our mother. May the sea swallow the traitors. Freer our lady. Mind if I interrupt? Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said. Give me the horn. I know the smell. A mushroom. Mardrum. Mardrum. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silasaib, I believe. All right. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Udalric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udalric needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I helped prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on. We could find some clues there. We must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. The castle's a buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Knew there'd be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, mead's got to flow, but so does blood. I'd say he got his wish. I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. Spirit. Someone ruined several barrels of the finest. Good thing Dad's got other worries in his mind. Right behind you. That's a relief.
Blood and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the? Shit. The spirit! There's another egg behind the barrel, but they're too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. Quick. Burned alive? Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. This is a secret passage. One rarely used, more like. When Yalmar and I were little, we'd play here. Hmm. Magic. By Gondi. A place of power. Use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, but I have no witcher senses at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. of cloth. No, it can't be. What is it? Arnfeld's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. <laughs> Grab a horse, we'll chase him down. When I get my hands on him. You don't stand a chance. Way to see you, Bark that! Come on, Roach. Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skelliger needs stability, a strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Bernard Bran, isn't it? 
You were never a good liar or involved. What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander or clan in the process. If she succeeded, Svanriga would have been left. The only claimant to Skellige's throne. We need proof. Your word against Berna's, that's not enough. Anvald, help us. And I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the maid. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the orals. I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Ceres on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Boona Brands. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison meat to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. Twas your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation?